Hi there. My name is Matt Brown, and I am the co-host of the world-famous Mammo podcast. I'm also a film reviewer for thesubstream.com, and I have a beard. But what you may not know about me is that I'm also a filmmaker. I've got an idea in the hopper right now that I've been obsessively planning for months. I've hashed out the idea, written a decent script, found a great producer to help me out. I've got some talented actors on board, and I've even drawn some crude storyboards that only I can ever decipher. I'm pretty much ready to shoot this thing. But the where and when, that's what's giving me trouble. That's what I've got to figure out. See, the script I wrote takes place almost entirely in an elevator. Not a freight elevator or a great glass elevator like the one Willy Wonka has, but you know, something spacious and classy that you might find in a four-star hotel. I've got to find a suitable looking elevator that's available to us for the shoot. In addition, it's also got to be large enough that if I want to stick a couple lights in there or move the camera around, I'm not going to be bouncing off the walls or worse, the ceiling. It's going to be difficult to pull this off, but let's just see what's out there. So off I go on what's called a recce, or location scout. Recce is a military term the film industry appropriated for its own use to further make the craft of filmmaking seem super cool and foreign to the layperson. But really it just stands for reconnaissance, which is pretty straightforward. You make a list of potential locations and you go and look at them armed with a digital camera and cell phone, which are probably one and the same if you're watching this in 2011 or later. It's basically a voyage of discovery and it can be a lot of fun. So now I've got a lot of photographs and notes and uh, places I'd like to use. I don't know exactly what to do next. I'm going to talk to my producer, Kat, about it, and maybe she can help me make a decision on where to shoot this thing. Hi! Okay, so uh, what did you find? Well, here's some photos I took. Okay. Uh, that one's pretty good. It's a little bit small. Um, I like that one a lot, it's like really spacious and stuff, but the concierge was kind of giving me a weird look when I was taking the photos, so I don't know how friendly they are. And uh, that one's okay, but the carpet is ugly. <laughs> so you can't do a good overhead no, shot? No, overhead shots. Okay. Yeah, plus all of these are in uh, classy hotels, so I'm not sure that they would give us permission to shoot in them without charging a small fortune. Oh, I was afraid you were going to say that. <laughs> well, you know, we could probably build you an elevator set for not that much money. Yeah, but like, what would it look? If this thing ends up looking like garbage, it's kind of not worth doing. It's got to look convincing on screen. You know, a real elevator would be preferable for me. Well, let's look at the pros and cons. Okay, pros. It already exists. It's in the real world. We don't have to build anything. We just show up and shoot. And as an added bonus, it goes up and down. Okay, let me break down the cons for you. An elevator belongs to someone else, so they probably rely on it for everyday business. They're going to charge us a fortune to actually shut it down for the day. We have to play nice with building management. They'll likely want us to get insurance, which could also get expensive. The other thing is, on location, you've got a lot less control over the shoot. These elevators look pretty good in pictures, but they're a little small, so there's not going to be a lot of elbow room to shoot in. Not to mention the fact that we'll need a larger crew, we'll need transportation, craft service, a place to eat lunch. If there's a power outage or something unforeseen happens, we just don't have any control over that. And if you decide that you need to reshoot later, we're going to have to go through the whole process again. Thanks for crushing my dreams. Hey, it's not so bad. Plus, I think I have an idea. If we built the elevator ourselves, the pros are we have complete control. We can build it with wild walls so that we can move them out and give the camera more room to actually maneuver inside the set. We can control the lighting because we'll be in a studio. We don't have to work on anybody else's schedule. The other thing is we can make it look like however we want. We don't have to settle for whatever elevator happens to be available. So no ugly wood paneling, no bad carpets. We can make it look exactly the way you envision it or very close to. And the money that we put into building this thing is ultimately going to go a lot further than paying someone to use the location. And when we're done, we're going to have a fully functional elevator set that we can reuse for other shoots or maybe even rent out to other producers. Yeah, but I'm useless with a power saw. Like, what? The, one of the cons is this could take forever to build and still end up looking like some cheap ass set from Star Trek. Easy there, Debbie Downer. What you need to concentrate on right now is figuring out the exact details of what you want to see. Go on another recce, and this time bring a measuring tape and a notepad. Take some measurements, pay closer attention to the details you like about the elevators you see, and make some firm decisions about what sort of look you're going for. Then let me worry about how it's going to get built. I know a bunch of talented carpenters that can put something like this together in a weekend, and it will look great, trust me. Just go out there and find your dream elevator. 
So there you have it. Not only is it important to have a great producer on your side, but it's vital to go out there and do a recce. Even if you don't end up shooting on location, the real world is going to inform everything you do in terms of building your set and even just figuring out the vibe that you're going for. So that real world experience of going out and looking at the thing you're trying to shoot, it's going to help you out. Thanks for coming with me on this journey of discovery and we'll see you in the new year on the set of my Elevator movie, which is going to be shot at the Substream Studios. Happy holidays everybody!